Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom rain brush. So to create this brush is really simple and as we can see I've applied this rain to this image and it looks really effective. So first things first is we need our main image that we're going to apply this effect to and I've gone for this image right here. Now we need a fairly dark image for the rain to come from and so we can actually see the rain. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and select a soft brush to so go to our brush tool on the left hand side and we're going to go up to the top and we're going to go and select a soft brush now you can go for any size you want and uh, it really doesn't matter because we're going to go and change that later on and we're going to go and change some of the settings so we're going to go up to window and then go to brush and you might have it on your right hand side and this is this icon right here so click that and I've already selected my brush so it has all the settings in for me and you can pause the video at any time and see the settings and I'm going to go through them and I will tell you when to pause the video so you can have a good look at them. So first things first is the size. Now I already know the size that I want for this image and that's going to be around about 70 pixels. Now it will change depending on the size of your image and we can change that at a later date. So the next thing that we're going to go and change is the angle. So the angle is going to be 90 and the roundness is 5%, the hardness is 0 and the spacing 500%. As I said, pause the video if you need to. Then the next thing we're going to do is shape dynamics and you can pause the video again. The size jitter is 100%, the control to off the minimum diameter to 100%, angle jitter to 0%, control to off, roundness jitter to 0% and the control to off again and none of the options down below to be checked. The next one is scattering, pause the video again if you want to and the scatter is going to be set to 1000%, both axes clicked on, control to off, count to 10%, count jitter to 100% and the control to off. The next thing we're going to go to is transfer. Now for the opacity it's going to be 100%, the control to off, flow jitter to 100%, control to pen pressure and the minimum to 0% and you can pause the video again and then we're just going to go and hide that. The next thing we need to do is we need to go and select a color for our rain. So we're going to go over to the color palette on the le bottom left hand side so click that and I've gone for this light blue greyish and the code for this is going to be C0CBD0 and you can pause the video and check out the code. Click OK once you're done and from here we're going to go and make a new blank layer so bottom right hand side click the new blank layer icon and this is where you can change the size of your rain. Now I'm going to keep with 70 but you can go up to the top left hand side and select the size that's most suitable for your image and we're going to go up to the top right hand side of the corner of the image press once hold down shift on our keyboard go down to the bottom right hand corner click once again and we can see the rain being put in now you want to do this for the whole of the image so go up to the top again click once hold down shift down the bottom again and click and we can see the rain being put in. Now I'm not going to stand around doing this to the whole of the image because it does take quite a while. So I'm going to go and jump over to the layer so we can see it all done. So this one right here. And the next thing we're going to do is go and change the blending mode. So on the right hand side and we're going to go over to soft light. Now you can go for overlay but it really depends on your taste. So I'm going to keep with soft light for this. And the rain has sort of disappeared so we want to bring that back through so we want to duplicate this so Control and J or Command J if you have a Mac and that duplicates it and as we can see it's brung the rain back through but not too much so it's not too heavy so that's basically all you have to know to create a custom rain brush so if we go back into the brush settings go to window and then brush or on the right hand side we can go and save that brush by going down to the bottom right hand side and you'll see this little icon here, create new brush and then we can go and name that brush anything that we want so I'm going to call it rain and then click OK and then we can go and hide that and that's basically it so you can go and use this for any image at all that you want to apply rain to and how easy and simple was that so that's basically it all to the tutorial 
and uh, if you want to support me please comment rate and subscribe guys go check out the website facebook plus and google plus and if you want to support me go check out the brand new t-shirt designs from photoshop pro help the link will be after this video so stay tuned for that and i'll see you next time guys bye for now